See those teeth are all ground down, the roots exposed. More than likely, he's done that over his whole life where he's chewed on stuff. Lots of times you'll see that in dogs kept in kennels. They chew and they grind these teeth all the way down. But I want to show you something over here. So you see this bump right here? And you can see it right here on this side of his tooth, okay? What that is, the scientific name for it's an epulis, E-P-U-L-I-S. And lots of dogs will get these, especially as they age. And they're kind of like hypertrophy or growth of the gums due to chronic inflammation. And when I say inflammation, what I mean is junk gets up under, you can see right here, this gum. Stuff will get up underneath the gum and it'll cause this increase in size in the gum and the gingival tissue. He's got one right there too, see? And lots of times in older dogs, these will start bleeding and we got to do something about them. And lots of times if you brush the teeth right there, it'll start bleeding. So this is a good oral exam on Clyde. You can look in his mouth. His gums and stuff look pretty good. We've done dentals on him, you know? And then lots of times what we'll do is we'll open his mouth up and look down in there. He got a few black spots up in there, nothing bad. Uh, and these pale colored dogs, you want to look in all their mouths all the time because they have more chances of getting skin tumors, melanomas, and melanomas in the mouth can be significant and bad.